Welcome again to Youth Alert Program. In this unit, we're going to talk about mental health. One out of five adolescents in America have been diagnosed with a mental health that's a leading cause of disability among this age group. That's one in five. That's two out of 10 youth suffer from some sort of depression. It's like an army of depressed kids walking around in America. And um, more than half of all mental disorders begin by the age of 14. So very early in their adolescence. And the most prevalent experience is depression in their mental health problems. With one in four uh, high school students have had mild symptoms of, uh, of depression. And a majority of adolescents with mental disorders do not seek help. That is a big problem with youth and mental health. They'll do anything except to find and get help. Uh, about one third find mental health care uh, inaccessible because of cost. But I also want to point out that two out of 10 adults suffer from depression too and other mental health disorders. So maybe mental health and depression like violence, bullying and abuse is something else that youth and adults can work on together equally, since we both suffer the same exact amount. Uh, what is depression? You know, it's very uh, important that we point out that the symptoms of depression last for two weeks. You could, some people can feel it for a day, for a couple of days, but two weeks is what uh, doctors say is the, the gauge for true depression. And what is depression? Persistent, anxious, or empty mood, feelings of hopelessness, um, irritability, feelings of guilt, worthlessness, or helplessness, loss of interest, decreased energy or fatigue, moving or talking more slowly, feeling restlessness, uh, having trouble sitting still, difficulty concentrating, remember making decisions, difficulty sleeping, early morning waking, and of course, thoughts of death or suicide or suicide attempts. But again, we often have these feelings, but if they're for two solid weeks, you need to seek clinical help. Now, believe it or not, there are a lot of ways we can cure depression. It is a curable disease in many, many, most cases. And some of the things we already know that can cure depression, mental health, is getting regular exercise, eating regular meals, avoid using excess caffeine, coffee, tea, soft drinks, avoiding illegal drugs and alcohol, learning relaxation techniques, deep breathing, um, meditation. You know, we breathe 25,000 times a day. I'm gonna show you a slide that shows you that we're not breathing right. Uh, develop assertive skills, how to say no politely and firmly. Uh, rehearse and practice responses to stressful situations. Break down large tasks into smaller ones. Learn to recognize and reduce negative self-talk. You know, some kids don't need a bully. They bully themselves with all the negative talk they have uh, to themselves. Uh, learn in, uh, to reorganize, uh, oops, challenge negative thoughts. Avoid demanding perfection. Uh, take a break, my favorite. And uh, music, spend time with a pet. And build a network of friends who could, hope, could help you cope in positive ways. And again, the source of this is the American Academy of Child and Adolescent Psychiatry. So if you do not want to be depressed, we do know ways that are proven to be effective. Now, uh, as I mentioned, breathing, there has been a lot of new research that has really caught our eye, especially on the rhythm of breathing, of breathing, how it affects memory and fear. That if you learn simple things on how to breathe right, Again, we breathe 25,000 times a day. This has been proven, like meditation, like mentoring, uh, to improve your mental health. Just a simple thing like breathing. Also, how to say no politely. A lot of people, a lot of kids, a lot of adults don't know how to say no politely. And there's a lot of different ways you can say no politely. No thanks, no thank you, no I'm good. I appreciate you, but no thanks. I already said no, I told you no, I refuse. I'll make up my own mind, no means no, let me think about it, I'll get back to you, move away please, I'll pass, no way, I'm cool. Say no politely twice. Twice is the rule. If you're being asked a third time, 
you're being bullied and it's time to look under the bullying category, the bullying units. But you're allowed to say no politely twice. After that, it's time to think about how to get away from bullying.